Where are you, God? I have prayed and I have prayed and I have prayed. I've asked people to pray. Where are you? I need you right now. Have you ever said that before? If you think about when things are going so horribly and we had this perfect plan to where that we know that God could really just, if, Lord, if you would just do it my way, if you would just take care of the situation, if only you would make this person do this and make this person do that, everything would just be perfect, God, just perfect. Why aren't you showing up? Well, I wonder if that's how Mary felt when she was praying when Lazarus was dying and very sick. And, you know, we've heard the song over and over again that God is never late. And although he was three days late for what we would consider late, he was right on time. And do you know, think about when, when he showed up and, and she said, you know, well, you've waited too late. He's already dead. He's been, he's been dead three days. Are you in a situation to where that you feel like you've been dead for three days, that the situation is so far gone now there's no way to resurrect it or bring it back to life? Well, Jesus said, it wasn't too late. And he said, Lazarus, come forth. And the cool words I love so much, it's he says that when he came forth, loose him and let him go. You see, God showed up. Jesus showed up and he performed a miracle. If Jesus had only showed up earlier, he would have only been able to make Lazarus well. But because of the situation that provided itself, God, Jesus, was able to perform a miracle where he received the glory. I don't know what you're going through right now, but you remember that it's not about you. It's not about me. It's about God being able to get the direct glory in your life. So if you're in a situation that you feel like it's way too past for God to show up, he missed his mark, he didn't. He, had, he knows everything. And in Isaiah 55, 8, it says this, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor your ways, my ways. Think about that. Jesus knew exactly what he was doing. And here's what I also wonder. When he finally does show up and he says, Loose her and let her go. When he takes care of the situation, do you really let it go? Or do you just still ponder on and talk about what didn't go well, what didn't go right, what someone said to you, what someone did to you, how that you didn't get what you wanted, you didn't get your way, and only if, and only if. Remember, when God shows up, when he says, loose her and let her go, when, you're, when you are loosed from whatever situation it is, whenever there's that breakthrough, let it go. Just let it go.